Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. Did you know you can deploy an entire SDDC complete with vCenter, NSX, and vSAN fully configured in under two hours? I'm Jeremiah McGee with VMware, and in this video, I'll walk you through a real SDDC deployment, including integrating your AWS account with VMware Cloud on AWS. Once logged into the VMware Cloud console, select Create SDDC in the upper right-hand corner. You can see all of the regions where the service is available. Select the region that fits your particular needs, then select the cluster deployment type. Next, provide a name for your SDDC. Note that this can be renamed later after deployment. Choose the number of hosts you wish to deploy and take note of the host and total vSphere cluster capacity for this deployment. The next step in the wizard allows you to connect your AWS account. Open the console to run the CloudFormation template. Check the box to acknowledge that you understand the CloudFormation template will create IAM resources and click Create Stack. This template will grant permissions to VMware via IAM roles and establish routing between the SDDC and the VPC you created previously. This only takes a couple of minutes and then we head back to the Cloud Console to see that the connection has been successfully established. Next, we will choose a VPC that we previously created and a subnet in the availability zone where we want to deploy our SDDC. Specify the site or block to be used for the infrastructure or management subnet. Finally, acknowledge that you understand and take responsibility for the costs incurred when you deploy an SDDC. Charges begin when you click the Deploy SDDC button. You cannot pause or cancel the deployment process after it starts, and you won't be able to use the SDDC until deployment is complete. The deployment typically takes under two hours. In the background, bare metal hosts are being pulled from a fleet and imaged with the latest version of the VMware ESXi hypervisor, which may differ from the latest version available for your on-premises deployments. The ESXi hosts are then fully configured along with vSAN. vCenter and NSXT appliances are deployed and fully configured during this process as well. Once the deployment is complete, you have a fully configured vSphere cluster complete with vCenter, NSXT, and vSAN. Details about the region, availability zone, hosts, clusters, and total resources are summarized on the SDDC card. Your SDDC is now available for use. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.